All right, guys. It happened. We didn't think it would happen. We thought we were in a nice park and all, and it wouldn't happen to us, but it happened. Kimberly's bike was stolen right from our site. Yeah. She went to my car. <laughs> I'm sad. Yep. Uh, we thought maybe she left it down by the pool, but nope, it was uh, taken taken from our site. So. Yep. Yep. The ranger. We just talked to the ranger at the front gate here at the Thousand Trails in Palm Springs, and uh, he said they had four bikes stolen yesterday. I guess that makes hers number five. So uh, it was, you know, it was a nice little bike, just a Walmart bike, but uh, you know, it was special to us and. You know, they, I guess they wanted it, so they took it, so. It Less, sucks. Yeah, it sucks. I guess lesson learned, you gotta lock up your bikes even if you're in a nice park, so. That's unfortunate. Uh. <laughs> Autumn still has her bike, so. I'm glad you still have your bike. Yes. Uh, and my old bike was still there, there were three bikes sitting there and they took took Kimberly's we think maybe it was because there was the really cool coconut uh, cup holder on her handlebars she had a real coconut on her handlebars that uh, was a cup holder so yep. little basket on the front it was perfect already uh, ready to go back up to Mackinac Mill and have a good summer riding around the park but I guess we're gonna have to buy a new one now anyway lesson is if you have bikes, even if you're at a very nice park, lock, lock them, them up. up. Lock them up. Lock them up. Lock them up. So when somebody steals your bike, there's only one thing to do. Go to the pool. So that's what we're going to do. Not much else we can do. We're in Palm Springs, palm trees, beautiful pool. Sit in the pool, in the hot tub, and get some sun. All right, guys. So, done soaking at the pool, but funny thing is, uh, we're in the pool and we hear somebody else talking about their bike getting stolen. Uh, and sure enough, yesterday there were five bikes stolen from the park, or last night. Um, and two of them were those electric bikes that were a couple thousand dollars a piece. So, our bike that got stolen, Kimberly's bike that got stolen, uh, we didn't have locks on our bikes. You know, they're Walmart bikes, they're nothing uh, pricey. But... Um, at least the two that were electric bikes had big uh, chains on them and they just cut them and took off with them so um, it you know probably smart to to try and keep honest people honest and make it a little harder for them but in the end you know it doesn't really matter having said that though i mean what we've been doing this three years almost three years yeah almost three years we've never had anything stolen this is the first time so I still have faith in humanity. Yep. <laughs> and, you know, you, I don't think you can 100% blame the park or anything right, like that. Right, and even the rangers said they don't think it's people in the park, other RVers. They think it's people coming from outside into the park and taking the bikes back out. Right. And, uh, you know, we just came from spending a couple weeks out in the desert with, you know, hundreds of thousands of other RVs and RVers, maybe even to a million and we did not have any trouble we left everything out just out in the middle of the desert we're gone all day talked to many people who did the same thing and never had a problem with anything being taken so um, the rv community is a great community uh, we got faith in the community we got faith in people there's going to be a couple bad apples but you can't let something like that you know stop you from chasing your dream though and going out and traveling we wouldn't do it any different. We may throw a lock on the bikes, though. Make it, <laughs> at least make it harder. Somebody said there's a motion sensor one. Yeah. So we'll have to get on Amazon and check that out. Yeah, if we find a, a better way to secure the bikes or, or the things that you leave outside the RV, we'll, uh, we'll show it to you, of course, and let you know about it. Uh, so we'll try a couple things we heard about. All right, so we're going to continue enjoying our day. That's right. We had a good good soak in the pool, got a little sun, get a little sun on the face, and uh, soak in the hot tub to finish it up. We're getting ready to uh, go out to dinner with our friends, uh, Aaron and Jeanette, the traveling Pisces. We're excited. We, we ran into them at the pool uh, 
two days ago, yeah. uh, which is funny. We didn't know each other was here. We had met in Quartzsite. So, uh, you know, another benefit to the RV lifestyle and full-time lifestyle. We run into friends in totally different states than where you meet them. So, pretty awesome. So, we're going to go get a burger. Y'all take care. If you enjoy these videos, please subscribe. Give them a thumbs up. Share them with your friends. And we'll catch up with you guys next time.